New Orleans will be packed with people not only for the Sugar Bowl, but also celebrating New Year's Eve and city leaders want to make sure you stay safe. So they're calling in reinforcements. Eleanor Tabone has what people can expect to see while they're out and about this weekend. Days ago, a person was shot here at the intersection of Bourbon and Toulouse. With this weekend set to be one of the busiest with the Sugar Bowl and New Year's Eve, NOPD is calling in help to protect residents and tourists. We have a heavy foot vehicle and traffic um, presence in that area and around the quarter. Interim Police Chief Michelle Woodfork says NOPD is beefing up its patrols as the city's population swells this weekend. More than 250 additional officers and 25 state troopers will patrol the French Quarter and downtown this weekend. Folks out there um, who are violating with weapons or any other um, crime, we're going to take police action. We're going to um, do what we have to do. New Orleans is on track to be the deadliest city in the nation this year. From just Wednesday to Thursday this week, there were at least 10 shootings and one person died. The OPCD has elevated to level two staffing. That means that we have doubled our staff at 911 to handle these calls. But some tourists are completely unaware of the city's spiraling crime problem. Two days ago, one person was shot at this intersection right here. Does that concern you? Yeah, I didn't know about that, but yeah, it's kind of concerning. Others say they'll be very vigilant while in town. I'm a tourist from Boise, Idaho, but I have been reading about it, the New Orleans being the most dangerous city in the United States. It makes me more cautious. One visitor sees he's planning to move here, but sees it comes with risks. I would like to carry something to protect myself. You know, it's a tragedy that's the case. Revelers are also urged not to drive drunk and officers will be watching the roads this weekend. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News.